Hey guys, it's Ryan Bridgebug Man, and check this out. I'm down here in the studio, which is torn all apart, man. Um, I got things upside down in here right now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's bad, but hey, there's a real reason for this. Look, a lot of people probably don't know that I have a rental collection that I actually put out. It's a huge exhibit. It's like 12 big wall cabinets. Uh, it contains 36 drawers. And depending on how they customize it, uh, however the customer wants it, it may have as many as 6,000 insects packed in those 36 drawers. But you got to get the little stuff to do that. But it can happen. Um, either way, get this, man. Do you remember if you saw uh, a post that went viral a year or two ago uh, where a little tiny VW bug, uh, meaning an actual replica of a VW bug, was hidden inside a beetle collection at a museum and a big display, cool looking display, tons of beetles. And that thing went viral. People went crazy over that. Well, that museum is the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. And that museum is who is about to rent my bugs. Um, this is a pretty big deal for the bug man. Um, for real, man, I am stoked and very excited to be doing this. Um, I apologize for all the chaos and the hoopla. I'm even having a hard time focusing on the video here, but um, I just want to give you guys a taste of what all's going on. My YouTube channel has been kind of vacant because <clears throat> my studio is wrecked uh, on purpose. I need all this room down here to, to organize. Um, what I initially did, and I'm going to turn this in, what I initially did is I took the current uh, almost 60 drawers that are available to the rental collection, and I took what is effectively the best 36 drawers out of that collection. Uh, I've placed them into these cabinets, which are going to be the travel cabinets that go with the rental collection. They go in the truck and get loaded with the displays. Um, and I'm going to show you some pictures of this thing when it's in operation. It's a beautiful exhibit. Um, but what I'm doing is I am pimping this thing up, man. I am going to, I'm going to amp this collection up as far as I can get it so that we, uh, just get the best displays and the best looking stuff I can. I'll give you an example. Um, like right, uh, those are going to be all beetles. There's a good, there's a good example. That's, that's a drawer. That's a finished drawer. This is going to the Cleveland Museum of Natural History for the rental exhibit. Here's another finished drawer. Okay, see, I'm not even sure what's finished anymore. I've been down here so much. Uh, look at some of this cool stuff. Largest tiger beetle in the world. Very cool. Largest elater, largest click beetles in the world. Those are in this collection for everybody who goes to the museum to see. Check it out, man. Atlas. Atlas beetles. You cannot beat this up. Big, cool scary stag beetles um all this stuff is totally harmless when it's alive here's another drawer all these are longhorn beetles cerambicids and a variety of other cool things in there but all longhorn beetles those are going to go in the collection as well these are finished drawers now what i have is an overabundance almost of butterflies uh that's a good example i'm gonna pull out i'll show you that one in a minute um i have an overabundance of butterflies because i have an over um I just have an overabundance of butterflies in my collection, so I have, it's easier for me to pull those and put those into the rental uh, and send those out the door, because I don't, I don't often get the advantage or the opportunity to utilize some of this stuff uh, in my, for my own collection. So it now goes to rental, and it goes to museums and all over the country for people to see. Moths, more moths. These are all finished drawers I'm showing you so far. More moths, that one needs cleaned. Oh, nice drawer. Now, I'm gonna keep this one out as well because we're swapping that one out. I have a much better, cleaner atlas moth I'm gonna put in there for the museum. So that one stays out. This one also stays out. These are riodinids. These are metal marked butterflies. This is an example of a drawer that would have gone to the rental collection, would have gone to the museum. And that is a cool looking group of butterflies. Do not underestimate don't i don't want to downplay these butterflies these are amazing and lepidopterists would uh, would all agree 
that for a worldwide drawer of Metal Mark butterflies, those are cool. But what I have over here is an even better drawer. Not those, but those. This is the drawer I'm going to replace from the drawer I just showed you. In my opinion, those are cooler, neater, a lot more fun. And metal marks are awesome to start with. Check that out. Look at those iridescent blues. Clear, long tails. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bee flies. Nice. So this is what's going to go to the museum. They're renting this out for about six months. So uh, once they have these in possession uh, in mid-October, I will not see these again. Uh, technically, I won't see them back here at headquarters probably until April of 2023. So super awesome stuff. Okay, let's get the let's get to some of the nuts and bolts here. Um, because I just want to get back on task. Uh, I could sit here and look at cool, pretty drawers of bugs all day long. Um, but after a while, I got to get back to work here. Um, there is a lot of stuff I have to incorporate into this collection. Uh, I already showed the morphos. Um, I'm going to pull a bunch of morphos. I'm going to put those in to some drawers. Um, I already have a morpho drawer, but it's missing a couple slots. I'm going to have to look for it here, so I apologize. Um, bird wings, swallowtails, swallowtails, a lot of swallowtails, um, huge, huge bunch of papillos in, in my collection as there's always a massive abundance of swallowtails. Sorry I didn't prepare in advance for this, but yeah, you know, just makes it more enjoyable. And you guys get to see the collection. Uh oh, there we go. Took me that many drawers to find them, but those two need filled. This box is presumably going to fill those two drawers or those two uh, trays. And that's going to complete this drawer. I will probably even replace some of the stuff that's a little older, like this one that I collected in Peru. Um, that kind of stuff is going to get replaced with some of this better material as well. Because I really want this collection to look good. I want this exhibit to look good for the museum. And uh, these people are serious about their bugs. And I don't mean little cars. Uh, they are very serious about their stuff. So, you get the Cleveland Museum of Natural History renting out Bugman Bugs. Renting out the Bugman rental exhibit. Um, I'm super, super stoked. I'm going to check in once or twice more. We'll even do an on-road when uh, at some point we'll be on our way to the museum. I'll probably do some video of the upload onto the rental truck. Um, delivery at the museum. Uh, we'll be able to see the exhibit when it's uh, getting installed. And then I will be doing a midway, midpoint exhibit or a visit to the museum to see the exhibit in operation at the museum as well. That is super cool. So totally stoked to see this thing back out on the road. Um, COVID's had me shut down for a couple of years back, guys. And uh, it's going to be good to see these bugs back out here again. Check those out. How can you go wrong with stuff like that yeah yeah all right guys stay with me it's gonna be fun